Hello everyone, my name is Carrie. This is Target Lily Designs. Welcome to day 10 of the 12 days of Stitch Mess. Yay, I'm so excited you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. If this is your first time checking me out, get excited. It's 12 days of Stitch Mess. What's that? 12 days of Stitch Mess means Flossmas and Vlogmas and giveaways. Oh my, lots of goodness. We've only got three more days left, 10, 11, 12 but it's okay. Lots of goodness. If you haven't seen, there's a playlist for Stitch Mist. Go back and watch it over again. Cause like I said, 12 days of giveaways. There's a giveaway, two giveaways every single day, as well as a extravaganza giveaway grand prize at the end. Two of them actually. Lots of stuff, lots of giveaways. My post office is gonna think I'm crazy, but it's gonna be so fun. So today I've got two small businesses to share with you as always. One is a cross-stitch designer from the Etsy shop, as well as one is an indie yarn dyer from Etsy that I am excited to share with you. But without further ado, before I forget, let me tell you what today's word of the day is. Today's word of the day, and I forgot my crossword puzzle, but hopefully you have yours. Today's word of the day is slay, like Santa's sleigh. Get excited, put it down in your crossword puzzle. Remember, you need that to enter into the grand prize, or if you want to enter into today's daily giveaways, use the word sleigh and knit or sleigh and stitch, depending on which prize or both, if you wanna win both or have the opportunity to win both down in your comments below. You need to make sure that you use the word, like the video and have be a subscriber to the channel to be entered into the daily giveaways. Now, if you're looking for the details, all the details are back in day one of Stitch Mist, but get excited. I'm excited for you. So we're just gonna dig right into the goodness. Now today I've got another Tiger Lily ornament finish for you. It's not related to today's. I actually have two finishes to show you. One is the new one, because I promised you a new finish every day during Stitch Mist. And except for the one day when my cord maker broke and it was all kinds of hot messy, I've kept my pro promise. And I'm pretty, pretty excited about my 11 out of 12 track record so far. We're going to go with it. So today's finish, I have two for you, but the new one that you have never seen before is a finish that I have put on one of our other featured small business boards. So Chantel from 141 Design Company, remember back in day, I don't remember what day we featured her, but it was fantastic. So I featured her and I had gotten that small ornaments box that she put out, super cute. I'm trying to find a way to use them, these wood backers. And we also talked about some wood backers in yesterday's video from Shelby. Did you see that one? It was cute. So the wood backers are just perfect. They make it super easy for you to finish your piece into an ornament lickety split. So this is a stitch that I had shown you guys because I stitched it while I was on. And of course I didn't bring the pattern don't know what it's called. Yep, you'll have to reference back to a floss tube. Maybe I'll try to link it down below. If not, send me a DM on Instagram or and I can try to remember what it was. But I stitched this, I definitely posted about it multiple times on Instagram because this was one of my Alaska stitches. So let me just show you. Here is my finish. Like I said, it's on one of, there's Chantel's little tag board and I painted on the front. Now the front I painted, this was new, and maybe Chantel already knows this, but what I did is I took watercolor paint. Like, I just went through my bucket of tubey paint stuff from my craft room, and I was like, I don't want a solid, opaque finish. I want a kind of a muted, vintagey, worn away, and that's exactly what I got. See, and then it kind of like washed away I love it. And then I put um, a couple coats of like spray varnish on the blue. Easy enough. And then all I did, this was my finish. Like I said, I don't remember what this chart is called. It's a super cute chart by Summer House Stitch Works if my memory is working at all. And then of course my favorite cord is all around down on the bottom. This is on sticky board glued right to the board. Swigs, sprigs, swigsy, sprigsies. Um, this is one of those baby ornaments, like for a miniature ornament tree from Walmart. I think it's from this year. If not last year, they definitely have something comparable this year. And then I put another grow grain ribbon right through the hole to make it easy. Love it. So I am going to write on the back like Alaska 22 when I went with 
um, we went on a, an Alaska cruise. And so this was one of my cruise stitches as like my memory thing. So I love ornaments with memory. I'm loving, we did see a whale tail. So yay. So that is my finish for today that I wanted to share with you. Let me put this over here. Hope it doesn't fall. Okay. We're good. Okay. So friends, let's dig into the feature designers. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. So today we're, what we're going to do first is we're going to clip away and I'm going to show you the first cross stitch designer. So the name of this company is the French giraffe and here we are. Today's featured cross stitch designer is another Flossmas alumni. The name of the business is called the French Giraffe and the designer behind it is Deborah too. She is a stay at home grandmother, I guess, a retired grandmother who lives in Northern Michigan. And she started designing charts in 2018, mostly for herself. She liked to put a twist on things, but she came up with the name of her shop as the French giraffe because she started, which is an adorable story of designing patterns with an different animals wearing clothes or costumes. It's fantastic. So like I said, she's a wife, a mother, and a grandmother of nine, including triplets and, and lots of children. So she's very busy, but she loves to put her own twist on different designs. So let's go ahead and check out her Etsy shop. She always is releasing new patterns. Now, if you remember from last year, I found Deborah and stitched up her Irish Santa. I will be honest, and my favorite is still all her Santas from all the different countries. She's got a Russian Santa, an Arctic Santa. She's always coming up with uh, different Santas. Ukraine Santa, I think he must be new this year. So she's got great designs that she's always coming up with. Some of her new holiday ones for this year. Let's take a look. This was her Gingerbread House Trio, which is a set of three different four by four stitches. So they'll stitch up real quick and finish off in a four by four frame. Super cute. She also has an adorable, again, a four by four, but it's a set of Holy Family Nativity Scene patterns, which is very adorable. Deborah also joins the world of Patreon. I believe here in December, she is starting a Patreon group. Everything about her will be linked down below if you want to check that out. So if you join her Patreon, you will be receiving exclusive charts that are only available to the Patreon members, depending on your level, as well as there'll be coupon codes to use within her shop. Speaking of coupon codes, she is giving us a coupon code here for Stitchmas. You're going to use the code Stitchmas15, and that'll take 15% off your purchase. Another cute pattern for this year's holiday collection is this adorable little four by four candy cane reindeer. And she put it on one of Shelby's backer boards. Can you see? That's adorable from Scarlet Sky Designs. It's an adorable reindeer that she put right there on one of Shelby's backer boards. I love it when our small businesses are working together. Who even knew? So she does have some fantastic patterns. Look at this turkey from last year or from last holiday in case you want to get ahead for next year. So she's got over 200 patterns to choose from. There is definitely something for everyone. Doesn't Deborah have some fantastic patterns? Now I showed it to you. I told you that I was going to show you. This is not a new finish, but this is the finish. This is probably when my court obsession started, uh, to be honest with you, last year. Um, but you can see, let's just talk court for a minute. Can you see the difference between, so this is probably like two strands and this is three strands. See the thickness? Okay, anyway, back to the court. Tangent. So this is the adorable, what I love, everything about it, the Santa from Ireland, the Irish Santa. So this is the Irish Santa on, looks to be like a 14 count, Maybe coffee dye by me, maybe not. I don't really remember, but I love, this is this is another vacation stitch. So we went to Ireland, um, 2018. And so I knew I needed to do an Irish Santa to kind of commemorate that. And I love him. 
him. So this is, like I said, Deborah's got a whole bunch of the Santas, but then she also has some great patterns. So remember to enter into today's giveaway. She's got two of those patterns for us. You're going to use the word slay down below and the word stitch. Stitch and slay. They don't have to be together. They just have to be in the comments somewhere because I'm going to use the YouTube comment random picker and search for those two words. And then you could win the PDFs um, chart from the French Giraffe. So hopefully you follow her on Instagram and Etsy and see all the things she's got coming along. Okay, friends, so now business number two, yay. Business number two, I have talked about this business before in previous floss tubes. I'm trying to remember when it was. It was definitely like summertime, maybe. Maybe like when I, I just, before the knitting bug had bit me, like, really I still can the squishy yummy yarn of it all I just loved it in all the colorways and so I was became friends with Miss Molly the name of her company is Molly Klein designs as well as sweet tea yarns um, we're gonna go ahead and clip away to her Etsy shop first and then I'll come back and tell you a little story today's featured yarn dyer is the business called Molly Klein designs here we are on her Instagram page. We're going to start here. Molly is a single mom who lives in Chicago, and she is a beautiful indie yarn dyer. So let's go ahead and dig into She's got beautiful colors. She comes out with beautiful collections. Her business is called Molly Klein Design, as well as Sweet Tea Yarns. She hand dyes from her home in Chicago. She does project bags as well as knit patterns. So go ahead and give her Instagram a follow. And let's go ahead over, pop over to her Etsy shop, which is where she sells all her goodies. So you can see here on her in, her Etsy shop, she's got, um, she does releases all the time. So you definitely want to give her Instagram a follow because that's where she'll tell you when she's going to have a new release which she just had, I think here in the last couple of days, she had had another Christmas release, which is super adorable. So let's just dig into one of her listings. So this one's called Gingerbread Dreams. How sweet is that colorway? It's so cute. She gives you the option of a sweet sock or a DK base weight yarn, as well as here's a Robin Egg colorway tweed dk oh that's a fun one i don't i haven't had any tweed yet we'll have to check that out so she gives you lots of options but what's also great about molly is she has a, not only is yarn she does have 22 pdf patterns so there a lot of them are easy beginner friendly look at this cute little hat that is great she uses her dk weight so it kind of goes together perfectly with the yarn that she sells which is great if you want to tr give knitting a try as well as a fast fa fade look at these fingerless mitts it's a cute pattern two dollars you, you can't beat it she also it's a pdf download it's perfect to use your fingering weight yarn is what this pattern says and how cute is that don't know if it's a quick stitch, but I might have to check it out for myself. So she's got a lot of shawls and hat PDF patterns that you can add to cart and check out. She does do project bags, but it looks like she is sold out right now of project bags. And she also gives you the option of sweater quantity. Let's see. Well, she must have taken that option away, but you can definitely send her a personal a DK or a um, personal direct message because she does do sweater quantity personal indie dyes for you. She does have an Advent calendar, so add that to your list. Maybe if you want a yarn Advent for next year, Molly's got a great one. So let's go ahead and go on over and I'll show you some of her yarns in person. Okay, so did you see some fabulous yarns? Okay, so like I said, Molly and I became friends sometime last fall. So in fall of 21, she also was a cross-stitcher. She lived in Georgia at the time. She's now, like, I'm not trying to give you her whole life story, but we're friends, and she went from Georgia. Now she's in Chicago, thankfully, with some of her family lives there, so it's good for her. But she is now an indie tire trying to support her and two, her two kids making it making it work so hopefully you find something that speaks to you because she's got some fantastic gorgeous things so 
I do want to show you some of the things Molly sent us, two full skeins, as well as I treated myself this year back during the summer. She had put out that she does a Advent yarn box. And again, this was before I was actually had knitting, had needles in my studio. I was like, I need the yarn box. I need the yarn advent. I hadn't found a cross stitching advent that spoke to me yet. Um, and I really enjoyed just the opportunity of opening a little something for me every day during December because December is busy and December is a lot of work and the to do lists are very long. And so just having a little brightness of opening a present at the start of my day, sometimes at the end of my day, sometimes it just depends. I love it. So, if you knit, you definitely should like put on your calendar, I don't remember when she started selling them, but treat yourself to one of Molly's advent boxes. I think this is like the fourth or fifth, could be sixth, I don't know, but she's been doing them for a while and that's because they're fantastic and people come back every year and I certainly will be back. So without further ado, let me show you, I do want to show you some of the things. So if you haven't noticed, Maybe the back drop, it does change just a smidge every week or every day. Every week, ah, every day. And that is because, so these are some of the, oh, it's going to fall. These are some of the yummy mini skeins in the advent box. So like I said, Miss Molly, she had an advent box and you got 24 minis, all different colorways, all different fun. And then there's one full skein at the end. I think it's day 25. So this is day one through six. Six. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And one day I had this sweet little progress marker angel flower thing. Love it. So these are some of the yummy mini skeins. And then, um, so that's day one through six. And this was seven, eight, nine. They're just all so gorgeous. And so the mini skeins are perfect. So I've been trying to find a, a pattern for the mini skeins on whether I'm going to do like an advent blah. As a quilter, I'm not really drawn to making, to knitting blankets. I'm a quilter. So I'm more like, these are my blankets. So I don't think I'm going to do a blanket, but I might do like a mini skein with another fingering weight and get that marled sweat. Like I'm, I'm geeking out on these sweater things. Did you see? Hold on. I had to wear, this was, so we got Christmas trees and then Miss Molly, I had to wear my little knitting. I saved my, my sheep. Christmas sweater for a knitting day. Okay. So I'm kind of loving the concept of fingerless mitts and hats and cowls and sweaters. So I might pull mini skeins, a whole bunch of them, and marl them together with another fingering weight and make like a super colorful because, you know, that's my jam. All right. So this is how the package. And obviously I'm showing you this advent thing. You can't get this. Like this is not something you can get right now, but you can't get her yarn. So this is how it came. It came in a box. I put it in this clear little box for me. And so I did want to go ahead. It's just cute. Everything was stickered and cute and adorable. Ooh, uh, look how fun and bright and vibrant that is. So she's just got so many gorgeous colors. It reminds me of like Nemo. None of them are named. None of them. They're all just her yummy sock weight fingering. Oh, a little treat for me. Yum. Fantastic. So what Molly sent us for me to show you is two full skeins of her sweet sock weight, which is 75% merino, superwash merino and 25% nylon. hundred grams is 460 yards. So it is her sweet, sweet sock weight yarn. And this is two of her color collections, peppermint ice cream and gingerbread dreams. How sweet. Okay, so I kind of love them both so much. She asked me which one my favorite was when I got these in the mail. And I was like, it's like choosing your favorite child. How am I supposed to? Because you know the pinks. Like these pinks speak to me so much. It's like speaking the tiger lily language is those pinks. But then it's blended with the neutral. I love it. Oh, so maybe. Okay, so but this is somebody else's. But maybe I need to get me some. But then this, of course, is peppermint. It's got such a soft baby pink to it with this gorgeous pops of greens every once in a while. Oh, the peppermint ice cream. Beautiful, gorgeous. Um, 
colors. I love them so much. So this is Molly Klein Designs. Sweet Tea Yarns is the name of her business. Of course, I have linked her Instagram down below, her Etsy shop down below. She Sometimes she's running sales on her Instagram. Sometimes follow her on stories. She's, she's super fun, super sweet. Love her so much. So I hope you give her some love. She has told me that um, if you order with her and you mention that Tiger Lily sent you, she's going to throw in a free gift. What that free gift is, I don't know, but who doesn't love a free gift? So that's what Molly's little incentive for the Tiger Lily friends are. So if you want to go ahead and just put in your comments when you check out on Etsy that Tiger Lily sent you, she's going to throw in something extra for you. So if you want to enter into today's daily giveaway for some yarn, you're going to get a skein. I don't know which one. You're going to get a skein of yarn from Miss Molly. So you're going to use the word slay and knit. And then there's also going to be a couple of her mini skeins I'm going to throw into the grand prize box for you. So you get to sample that one too if you get the grand prize. All right, friends. So that is day 10. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having a great weekend, a great Saturday. Whenever you're watching this, catching up, you got plenty of time. If you're catching this later, remember I'm not doing the giveaway drawings until December 25th. So plenty of time for you to enter in both the dailies and the grand prize and win all the things. It's going to be fantastic. Happy day 10, friends. Happy Stitchmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.